shoulder of desperation. In any city, in any country, go to any safe place, school, hospital, mental home, fire station, police station, etc., and make your way to the front desk. Make sure you have no weapons on you and are not in a bad mood. If your intention truly is to find the object hidden here, the front desk clerk will sense it and will walk up to you. The clerk will give you the warmest hug you have ever felt, making you feel loved and accepted like never before. But don't stop to enjoy the feeling. You must push the clerk away softly and say, I'm sorry, but I'm here for an important reason. If your heart is true and you are worthy, the worker will nod and point to a door. If not, then I suggest you become heavily armed as soon as you can. If the worker points you to a door, any door, enter it. The second you are inside and the door closes, you will be in what looks to be a school guidance counselor's office. But it will be soaked with blood and littered with the corpses of those who gave up too soon. Walk to the desk and sit down at one of the two chairs. The counselor will appear before you and ask you to state your business. In a very calm, cool voice, say exactly this. My situation is desperate, for if they come together, all is lost. The counsellor will reach out to stroke your face, their hand becoming a razor-sharp claw. Do not resist, no matter how deep it cuts you. The counsellor will then nod and say, What are your intentions? To which you must reply, To protect those who embrace peace and love. The counsellor will then reach under the desk and produce a rather small book. This book, however, contains the gruesomely detailed accounts of every time throughout the history of humanity that somebody's situation was so desperate, be it abuse, addiction, or any other vice, that they considered just giving up. The counsellor will read this book to you in a way that sends you reeling, putting you right in the middle of each situation. Most seekers end their lives during this story, resulting in the thousands of corpses lining the walls. If you make it through the entire ordeal, the counsellor will close the book and it will glow with an unearthly light. As the counsellor goes back under the desk to get something else, they will show you their true form. No matter how horrifying it is, you must look the counsellor in the eyes and say, Thank you. I know what I must do. The counsellor will then take the object from under the desk, a very small razor, and carve your name into the front cover of the book, then give it to you. From then on, you will have prior knowledge of any suicide attempt by anyone you know, and you will be able to instantly talk them out of it. But in doing so, you will inherit their pain. That razor is object 324 of 538. To keep them apart, you have to become the guardian angel of those who suffer.